extrusion, thermal forming, and injection molding. These are just some of the plastics manufacturing methods. In most processes, state-of-the-art technology and robotics play an integral part. Computers allow for a higher degree of accuracy, efficiency, and productivity. Following the video, read the descriptions. See if you can identify how some products are made. Have you ever looked closely at a garden hose? What about drinking straws? It's easy to see that they're made of plastic, but did you know they are made by extruding heated plastic through a shaping device called a die? Extrusion is a process where the plastic resin is heated in a long barrel. Once melted, the plastic is forced through a die by rotating a metal screw. The plastic emerges from the die, opening in a continuous tube that is allowed to cool. Once the plastic tube is solid, it is then cut to the desired length and a hose is created to water your garden. The thermoforming process uses heat-sensitive polymers to create plastic products. The polymer is melted and then heated further, starting polymer strand reactions. The polymer strand reactions form crosslinks. These crosslinks make the cool plastic object heat resistant. Products that are made by rotational molding include vinyl armrests in cars, toy balls, or fuel tanks. Polymer resins can be finely ground into a powder. This powder is used in the rotational molding process. The powder is placed in the mold and slowly heated while the mold is being rotated in all directions. This rotation causes the powder to cover all surfaces of the mold and it also melts and takes its shape. Once cooled, the mold is opened and the part is removed. Blow molding? Think of blowing a bubble out of your gum. This process is used to produce most hollow plastic objects, like soft drink bottles, detergent bottles, and storage drums. How does it work? It begins with the placement of a mold around a softened plastic tube. The tube is heated and air is blown at high pressure into it. The pressure forces the plastic to adhere to the walls of the mold, taking its form. The mold is open, and voila, a plastic bottle. Injection molding is the preferred method for producing most solid plastic objects such as toys and car parts. Plastic pellets are placed in the injection unit that melts the resin. The melted resin is then forced into a mold that shapes the object by a heated metal screw. The clamping unit contains the mold and opens to eject the finished part. The units are made of stainless steel and can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. A process similar to extrusion is the production of plastic sheeting. Plastic is extruded and fed through rollers to produce the desired thickness. This method is used in a broad range of packaging applications, from shrink wraps to large plastic bags. Cars, infrared scopes, golf equipment, bridges, boats, you name it. There is probably a plastic in it, but not pure plastic. These are made from composite plastic. Fiberglass is the most common of them all. Composites are a combination of a thermoset resin and a reinforcement component, such as glass or carbon. There are a couple of methods available to create a composite, pull winding and pull trusion. Pull winding involves winding the plastic and glass fibers together, producing composite tubes. The pull trusion process incorporates the reinforcement fiber with a high-performance plastic resin. 